Hey everyone, this is the Phoenix. Back to do another energy update for the sign of Scorpio. Just keep in mind, these are general readings. They're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Scorpio. So let's jump into this reading and see what is coming through for you guys this week. So there is a full-on commitment happening for you. This is home, family life, stability, even marriage for some of you. And this is coming after a period of you feeling like there was no growth or there was stagnancy in a relationship. So you felt like nothing was going to come off the relationship, although you wanted long-term commitment. You felt like it was a done deal. Things were not going to happen the way you wanted to. It could be with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But you're trying to manipulate. You're trying to control. And you're not being direct with what it is you want from this person. So it's like you're playing a game, but the honest person being played is you. There is a new beginning coming for you when it comes to love and commitment. But you have to come out of this energy of not speaking your truth or standing in your truth. Because trying to manipulate a relationship out of someone never works well. Yeah. There is a cycle that is closing off for you and a new one that is beginning. So things are finally turning around in your favor. It's time for you to come out of this energy of self-doubt. Yeah. I know you've been hurt in the past and you're carrying around a, a lot of burdens with you. But it's time to let this go. It's time to let these energies go. Because there are great things that the divine wants to bring in for you. So you may have your eyes on a specific person. And you're secretly stalking them. Yeah. Because you might feel that this person is involved with someone else and you can't handle that, can you? Yeah. Could be an Aries Leo star you're dealing with or you want to deal with. But this person, you see them to be very elegant, very flamboyant. They live their life on their terms. And they are actually an inspiration to you. Yeah. But you haven't said that to them, have you? You haven't said to them that you want this long-term commitment with them. You want stability with them. You haven't said to them that you want a relationship on the whole. You haven't said that to this person. But yet still, you're standing back, waiting for this person to come towards you. How would they know to come towards you if you do not tell them how you feel? You're in love with this person, but you're not telling them that. What are they, how are they supposed to know that you want long-term commitment? You want a new beginning when it comes to love? How would they know that if you don't say it to them? <coughs> Sorry. Yeah. A lot of you is holding back your truth. And not saying what you truly feel for this person. Instead, <laughs> you're playing little games with this person. Dropping little tidbits here, there. Waiting to see what will grow. Paying close attention to this person. And just waiting to see when they would come towards you. Yeah. But you're feeling like they have given up on the relationship and given up on you. You're feeling like you've lost the opportunity with this person. <laughs> when actually you wanted a new beginning with this person. But although you've thrown things out there. And this person may suspect how you feel about them. They don't know for sure because you've never said it to them. 
there are going to be new beginnings for you that would bring you the type of stability and commitment that you want but i feel you need to open up yourself to communication yeah you need to stand in your truth and speak your truth here because this person needs to know how you truly feel before you could judge them on the level that you're judging them on right now instead you've only given them but so much to go on and then you pulled away how do you want this person to know how you feel if you don't tell them instead what you're doing is you're procrastinating you're judging this person based on prior experiences with other people you're obsessing over this person you're stalking them for a lot of you but yet still you're not telling them how you feel you have to decide to take action towards this person and tell them how you feel because this person can't read your mind they can't know what it is you want because you're hiding how you truly feel and your level of wanting this person is to the point of marriage yeah things are balancing out in your favor but you have to take action as well because not taking action is not going to give you what it is you want you see this person single enjoying life being the best version of themselves that they can be and that makes you uncomfortable because you don't want this person to be single you want this person to be in a relationship with you but yet still you wouldn't speak your truth yet still you're standing back and watching to see what this person is doing Hmm. what is happening on this person's end what is happening on this person's end how does this person feel for scorpio how does this person feel for scorpio okay so they have also pulled back they have pulled back their energies from you scorpio they're being stingy with their time their attention their love because they don't feel like you see them as your wish fulfillment why would they try to heal a relationship that you don't care for why why would they try to make things better between you and them if for some of you you're already in a relationship or you made this person feel like you were in a relationship for a lot of you you were also telling this person that you were not ready for the type of commitment that they were ready for yeah it's time for you to man up or woman up and tell this person how you feel because you're secretly pining for this person but how is this person supposed to know this person is responding to the way you're acting you have been strategically planning on how to get towards this person so you're doing a lot of un underhanded stuff manipulation stuff because you know you want stability with this person but you're not saying it to them because you have a lot of regrets you have a lot of regrets about how things played off how you ended things with this person how you made this person feel but now you're realizing that you want that type of long-term commitment with them you want that type of relationship mm -hmm. it's time for you to stop overthinking stop overthinking and stand in your truth because you're holding back the truth from this person and that is what is causing all this chaos because you are being unfair and what is actually happening is a karmic reset what you give you get back so this is what you are giving to the person and that is what you are getting back why are you upset about it you can manifest this person all day but unless you decide to stand and speak your truth there will be no balancing out here because however you left things off with this person this person still is in the energy of being hurt you may have told this person you were not ready for the type of commitment that they were ready for but you were lying yeah 
there is a gift coming towards you or a gift you're going to give to this person because i do see you either reaching out to this person or they're reaching out to you and it is going to be the divine bringing the both of you together because this person is your home this person is your stability this person is your long-term success so you've been sitting back and you've been waiting <coughs> for this person to come back to you you've been manifesting them to come well the universe is conspiring in your favor to bring you and this person together but you have to decide if you're willing to put the work into the relationship to get it to work or if you're willing to keep lying deceiving manipulating and playing games because the honest person being hurt in these games that you're playing is you so you have to decide, is this person worth giving up? Or are you ready to man up or woman up? Stand in your power and speak your truth. Why are you so afraid to express how you feel for this person? Well, we know you feel quite a lot. You feel quite a lot for this person. You want relationships. You want long-term commitment with this person, but you're hiding it. The universe is going to bring this person back around to you, but you have to decide what you're doing. Yeah, luck is on your side. Things will work out in your favor. But yeah, the divine is bringing this person back towards you. What's an offer? You have to either decide to finally speak your truth, or you could keep ignoring this person and run the possibility of losing them. So, although the universe is conspiring in your favor and you have been manifesting this person back, you have to decide, are you still going to be playing games or are you going to speak your truth? The choice will be yours at the end of the day, but this is what I have for you. Alright, have a good one people.